Well, many of you will not know me, and many of you will. Uh, my name is Elizabeth, and I was ordained um, here in Salisbury uh, ten years ago, and did my curacy here at St Catherine's, which, if it uh, if it is recorded from my office, you'll be able to see the church, which is a wonderful view from my office. And I was asked, how has prayer changed things for me? Well, there are two particular things that stand out. We lived in California for a number of years and we had three sons and at the time the oldest one was five and we were driving across the Arizona desert and um, something was wrong obviously and so my husband Tom pulled over and uh, discovered it was a hose that was gone. Well, we're miles from anywhere but the nearest town was behind us so he crossed the highway and flagged down somebody to try and get help. This was well before the days of mobile phones and so on. And uh, then we went back, he came back to the car and here were these three little boys and we were all roasting. It was 108 degrees in the shade. We drank all the drinking water that we had, we rationed it out. Then we splashed ourselves with the radiator water, which was no good for the radiator because the hose was gone. And suddenly our five-year-old says, we haven't prayed. And so we all sat on the, uh, the shady side of the car and uh, I think he was the one that prayed. And we'd no sooner said Amen than along comes a highway patrolman. And he says, see, I knew it would work. And it was a lesson to us that we should have prayed first, not done all these other things first. And then roll forward about 50 years or so and... Um, when I was serving in the New Forest um, for almost five years, in the diocese there, you cannot occupy a church-owned house once you reach a certain stage of chronological advancement. So we had to leave and we said, well, that's all right. We own the house in Holt, which we rented out, and we'll go back to our own house. But um, finances were a bit tight, so we decided that uh, we needed another income. And this time, we got smart and we prayed first <laughs> and um, in the meantime uh, we got back in August last year and I went to visit my mother who had turned a hundred that year uh, and uh, I, my brother had to for various reasons return to Canada so I went to take care of her for a month or so and um, while I was there I was fiddling about with the computer and I thought I'll try the church times and there I found this house for duty position advertised uh, in Bath Easton. And I thought, oh, that's not very far from Holt. So I sent an email to the appropriate party and cut a long story short, I now serve in Bath Easton with the tiny church of St. Catherine up the valley, which reminds us a lot of, of um, Great Chalfield because it's about the same, well, no, it's smaller in Great Chalfield, if you can believe that. Um, but here I am in a, uh, I was offered the house for duty, and we said, well, we don't really need the house. So they give me a housing allowance. We prayed first, and God hadn't let us down over 55 years of marriage, and we had said, he's not gonna let us down now, and he didn't. He provided the position. And I think we did learn from our five-year-old that we should have prayed and that's why anything that comes up that we are concerned about we pray first and it's my wish that all of you would do the same thank you